Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again for another stock pick of the day. It is January 30th, Monday, the first day of the trading week and one of the last days in January for trading. One more day tomorrow and then on into February we go. I did post the stocks to buy video uh, this morning, so hopefully you caught that. If not, go ahead and check out my page. Five stocks to buy, and I am talking about one ETF in that one. But in this video, we are going to cover a stock I have never taken a look at, Total Energies. This was one suggested suggested uh, in a comment section in the comment section in one of the videos previously. So it was down today. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. it like I said, be the first time I've taken a look at this one. I don't know if you have as well. If you have, go ahead and drop down in the comments below what you think about this one, Total Energies. Let's see. So created in 1924 to enable France to play a key role in the great oil and gas adventure, Total Energies has always been driven by an authentic pioneering spirit. It has discovered some of the most productive fields in the world. Its refineries have created increasingly sophisticated products and its extensive distribution network has rolled out an ever expanding range of services. If you want to know more about them, TotalEnergies.com is their whole homepage where I pull this information from. They do have a presence in Africa. They are the number one uh, presence in Africa, Asia, Pacific, Europe, Middle East, North and South America. You can kind of see here on this little uh, map here and this portion of the map, if you were to click here down below, uh, you would be able to go in this interactive map and you would be able to click, you know, like North America or South America or Africa and see all the locations that they have a presence in. 100,000 plus people in more than 130 countries. So they do have a worldwide presence that really is, uh, and, and Total Energies really does describe everything they do, right? They, they have their hands in oil and gas, which we read about here, but they also have their hands in electrical distribution. They have their hands in renewables, right? So uh, their overall goal is to be carbon neutral in all its global activities by 2050. So they actually are doing some carbon capture uh, things as well. So holistic approach to the energy sector here total energies a, a, a applicable name i would say looking at their homepage. but again if you want to know more about them go ahead and check them out i will say one of the things about them that i don't necessarily like them being a foreign company obviously there are some foreign tax implications you need to keep in mind investing in this and, and everything you're going to see as far as dividends paid out and everything is going to be in euros not in american dollars so it is a foreign company of, uh, out of france uh we oui, we oui. For those of you uh, who are interested in a global company, though, something outside America, this might be one to look at to give you a, an exposure uh, to a foreign company, right? So we are talking about Total Energies SEs, ticker TTE, and they are out of the energy sector. They closed the day today at $62.54, down 1.12%. Actually, looks like they were up a little bit in the after hours when I pulled this information right uh 52 week range as low as 44 dollars and 61 cents as high as 6505 so that would be a negative for me i want something uh closer to a 52 week low right this is right up against its 52 week high actually especially if you look at the after hours here average volume of 1.599 million today was 1.6 so a little more volume than overall again looks like it started out previous close was 63 so started out the day at 63.25 and ended the day at 62.54 Market cap of 156.219 billion, a beta of 0.99, so right in line pretty much with the overall market as far as volatility. PE ratio, price to earnings ratio of 7.15, so it is low on the PE, right? The PE ratio is very low. Earnings per share is 8.75, uh, EPS there, that's very nice. No earnings date released. They have a forward dividend of $2.96. Uh, I do believe they are quarterly payer. We're gonna look at that here in a minute. Uh, $2.96 to divide by four, that would give you your quarterly payout. And they have a pretty nice dividend yield at 4.69%. But keep in mind, if you're paying foreign tax, this yield would be a little bit lower, right? You would be responsible for that tax. X dividend date coming up of March 20th, 2023. And a one-year target estimate, at least according to Yahoo Finance, where I pulled this information. Not affiliated with Yahoo Finance, just where I like to go look for information. They have a $72.50 per share price target. And that would speak to some potential upside appreciation for this one. 
Now, I always recommend more than one source. So another one that I like is stockanalysis.com. Just make sure you're looking at more than one, two, three, four sources so that you can make sure the information you are getting is accurate. Still looking at Total Energies SE, ticker TTE, and the 29 stock analysis stock analysts from stockanalysis.com that have taken a look at this, they call it a consensus buy. They have a low estimate of $55.63, which would be a 11.06% decline from where it currently sits. If it hit their average of 74.57, that would be a 19.22% increase in stock price. And if it happened to hit their high of $104.52, that would be a 67.10% increase in the stock price. And all the while, you would be collecting that plus 4% dividend yield. Now, this is typically where I would show you my position if I had one. I do not have one. As I stated uh, in the beginning of this video, this is the first time I've even looked at this company. I was not even aware of it uh, before it was brought to my attention in the comment section in one of my previous videos. And as you can see here, the, the dividends are payout in euros. But their timeline, I, I did snip a little bit more than I typically do, but I wanted to go uh, back a little bit further because it looked funny here the last year. You know, they paid out. It looks like five different months, January, March, June, September, and December. But if I went back for further, it looks like their payout is January, March, June, and September. And this December payment here may have just been a special dividend. At least that's what it looks like to me because it was 66 cents and they jumped up to 69 cents and then they paid out a dollar. So I'm assuming this was, and then back to 69 cents. I'm assuming this was just a uh, special payout, a, a special dividend payout here in December, and this is not typical uh, way they pay out, right? So I would expect their payout to be January, March, June, and September. That's when I would expect them, because I, I see that repeated here, January, March, June, and September, and like I said, this is the oddball here in December. They do have a nice payout ratio, low payout ratio, under 50%, 45.30% to be exact, and very nice dividend growth, right? This is extremely fast. I don't know if this is uh, something that is sustainable. I mean, it is if you go based on this 40, current 45.3% payout ratio, but extremely fast uh, growth. 40.15% is the, one of the fastest growths I've seen as far as dividend growth, right? Well, there you have it. Total energies. Let me know what you think about it. As always, appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is it a company that you are aware of? Is it one that you have in your portfolio? I do personally read and respond to the comments. I'm always interested to read your questions, opinions, suggestions for future topics, or constructive criticism. Go ahead and drop it all down below. And if I haven't mentioned this before, I am only answering questions on uh, videos the day that I post them. I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, comments from previous posts uh, way back in the day, you know, three, four, five, six months ago, last year even. Uh, so if I don't get back to you, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's that I, I do this in my spare time, right? I'm not making any money from uh, from YouTube. You can't even monetize the channel until you have a thousand subscribers. So hey, hit that subscribe button and help me out. If I get to a thousand subscribers, then maybe I'll make a little bit of money off of it. But right now, until I get there, this is just in my uh, something that I like to do. Hopefully it helps people out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. Uh, and with that said, this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a vested interest. Hey, really appreciate you stopping by, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm willing to share my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money. You should never invest any amount you're not comfortable losing. Always do your own research. Invest based on your situation, circumstances, and select the criteria, or seek the advice counsel of a certified financial advisor.